Hey, Rich here, and welcome back to the blog. I just finished a 12-mile run from Greenpoint and uh, basically made my blog post from there. So, you know what? Without further ado, here's me from Greenpoint. Hey, good morning. Rich here, and welcome back to the blog. So, I'm uh, tuning in on day 17 of my 60-day raw food challenge and I just want to let you guys know that things continue to come along fairly smoothly smoothly um, certainly um, things have been interesting um, uh, let's, let's talk about let's check do the food check-in first so yesterday um, I had a, a pretty heavy food day um, I started the day with a smoothie that was made with um, about half a half a container, I don't know if you call it a quart of strawberries, so I basically had half a quart of strawberries, a banana, half a bunch of dandelion greens, um, possibly a peach was thrown in there, and about a cup and a half of orange juice. Um, so that's how I started my day. Over the course of the day, I completely finished um, that quart of strawberries and had another half a quart. Um, I finished an entire bunch of bananas. Excuse me, it's about to get a little loud because a trash truck is coming by. Yeah, I finished uh, almost an entire bunch of bananas. Um, I made myself a little kind of like a chocolate um, snack with, uh, I took uh, uh, some walnuts, I took uh, a bunch of uh, soaked almonds, a uh, bunch of dates, uh, obviously some raw chocolate. Um, and some agave nectar. I threw all of that together in kind of a little sticky mixture and made like a little chewy with it so that if I, you know, got noshy over the course of the day, I would have something to kind of nosh on, kind of snack on. Um, and I was a little more snacky yesterday than I've, than I've been in the past. Again, my concern is getting in enough calories. I don't think I've been making it to 3,000 calories a day, and that's really, really important because I don't want my body to feel at all like it's deprived, at all like it needs to be, you know, storing a reserve of anything because I'm not getting enough food. Um, what else? I made that um, wonderful salad yesterday with apple and fennel and walnut with, uh, with the... Um, lemon, uh, squeezed lemon on top of that, and I'll use a little pepper. So I had a, a healthy serving of that. Um, I didn't drink all smoothies. I actually had a fruit salad that was made with um, a banana and some strawberries. So, so that's kind of what my food was like yesterday. I think I'm including everything. And I think that you're probably imagining that there was a lot of food in there. So um, anyone who's thinking that this is about um, me depriving myself and not getting enough food, think again. Anyway, so um, I'm kind of, I've kind of impressed myself a little today. Uh, I've gone one neighborhood past Williamsburg. So right now I'm in a neighborhood called Greenpoint and you guys can't see it um, because it's a little foggy out right now. But directly behind me is the Empire State Building. So that means that I'm, that I'm basically, I'm, I'm almost in line with I'm sorry, I'm almost in line with um, like 34th Street in Manhattan. And um, where I live is below the bottom of Manhattan. So I've run basically the equivalent of from the tip of Manhattan to the Empire State Building. You know, but we're a little bit, we're a little bit on an angle, so not exactly. But certainly I've run about seven miles at least, um, or close to seven miles. So uh, I'm basically at the half marathon mark. Uh, that's if I get home. Um, and there's no guarantees that I will get home because um, who knows, I may break down and, and have to hop on public transportation. Although I didn't bring my, um, I didn't bring my uh, bus pass with me. So uh, what else? Um, I've, uh, I've had a fluctuation in my weight. So I had been, um, starting to drop weight again, which wasn't really a concern. I was kind of like, oh, cool, I'm dropping weight. But now I see that it's, it's, um, it's come back on, and I'm thinking that it might be because of salt, it might be because of whatever, not my concern. I imagine that over the next year, my body is going to be adjusting to finally getting enough food and enough of the right foods. So I'm probably gonna see all kinds of, you know, fluctuations up and down 
Um, but uh, certainly I am well within my limit in terms of my healthy weight, and I certainly feel really good. Um, I do have to say, uh, after the meals where I consume a little bit more in the way of salt, um, I don't feel as good. I definitely see a little spike in my blood pressure. Um, my blood pressure is usually um, somewhere around 110 over 70, and I actually saw a little spike. It went up to about, you know, 113, 115, which is, I don't know, I don't know if that's a lot in terms of blood pressure, but it was a little spike, and I noticed it, and I think it may have had something to do with salt. Um, also, I may have spoken to you guys a little bit about olive oil yesterday. I've been having a debate with a, an ongoing debate with a friend of mine who, you know, really insists that olive oil is healthy for you. And I'm really leaning towards the school of thought that says olive oil is a better choice in terms of adding fat to your diet if you need to add fat to your diet. Um, however, there are plenty of whole foods out there that you can be consuming that have, that are great sources of healthy fats. They are whole foods. They also have the nutrients and they also have the fiber that your body needs to, you know, be healthy. So if you're going to add fat, why don't you just eat some nuts, eat some avocado, eat those things that are going to um, nur nourish your body. Um, you cannot nourish your body with olive oil. And if you were caught on an island, would you rather be trapped on an island with olive oil or avocado? Think of it that way. In fact, think of it that way in terms of anything you eat. Think, if I were trapped on an island, is this the food I would choose? Now, of course, anything's gonna sound like a nightmare, but some things are gonna sound like a nightmare, probably from the first bite. So just think that way. Um, again, none of these are about me being, uh, you know, preachy. I'm thinking consejos, making um, suggestions for what you should do. I'm just thinking about um, what I feel is right for me. Like the things, the, the, the way things are clicking into place in terms of logic for me and for my health. And I hope that um, sharing it with you might give you some space if you've been giving thought to the way you want to treat yourself and um, treat your body and um, think about your health. That said, I do not want to drag on. I have a long way to go to get home. In fact, I didn't even do a time check. I left my house at um, about 5.40 this morning and it is now 6.55. So including the five minutes or so, my hour, my, my run was about an hour and, and 10 minutes. And I went just a little further, um, you know, maybe another half a mile to a mile further than when I went to the Williamsburg Bridge. So I know I have at least an hour to go to get home. Um, I hope you guys have a really, really great day. I'm feeling awesome this morning. I hope you do too. And peace.